to Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churn homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy's Hi, I'm Deb Beisel, and welcome to Around Kansas at the lovely campus of Washburn University. This is the Mulvane Art Fair, the Mountain Plains Art Fair, the annual fundraiser for the Mulvane Art Museum. And each year, dozens of artists from all over the state of Kansas and neighboring states come and share their wares. We're going to visit with some of those folks, so stay tuned. Closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress, powered by Kansas farmers. Around Kansas, brought to you by Tarwater Farm and Home. Come on by, we'll treat you like family. Hi, I'm Deb Beisel. Welcome to the Mountain Plains Art Fair here at Washburn Campus in downtown Topeka. And with me is Greg Lathrop, who is a ceramic artist and has just some fantastic work. Greg is from Derby and Greg it's great to be with you. Thank you. Good to be here. So tell me about how long you've been doing this and and how you got started. Well I started actually in high school so I've been actually doing it for 35 years. The first uh, art show that I went to was in 1979 so I was 18 years old. So ceramics that's kind of a, a is that kind of a manly art form? Well, there's a lot of women that do it as well, but it's, it's something that I enjoy, so uh, I, I've been doing it a long time, and, and I still have the passion for it. So did you, um, when you started in high school, did you, was that like an art class? Yeah, I took an art class and, and was immediately uh, drawn to it and uh, just continued. So what's your favorite stuff to work on? I mean, you've got a range of, you know, everything from really small items to the bean pots, the bowls, the gorgeous vases. So what's your favorite thing to work on? Well, I like making the, the big one-of-a-kind pieces, uh, but, but demand for the smaller stuff. Uh, I spend a lot of time making the, the smaller items so people, there are things that people can use and afford and, and they will buy them. So do you do much commission work? I, I do some. Uh, I have a, a few galleries that I'm in and, and a little bit of wholesale, but primarily it's through the, the art shows like this that, that I sell my work. So when you set up at shows like this, you know, this is this is a lot of work to obviously to pack up all this, this breakable stuff and so you must choose your shows pretty wisely. Well, I've, I've, uh, I'm not doing it right now, but I've done this full time and traveled all over the country where I've done 30 to 35 shows a year. So uh, it's, you know, I have a process that I go through. I don't worry about the weather. That's really not, not anything I can control, first of all. But, you know, I apply to the shows that I feel is a good fit for me. So talk about this one here in Topeka, the Mountain Plains Art Fair. At Mulvane Mountain, it's, it's a great show. I first did it in 2007. Uh, it's a it's a great venue. It's well supported by the people here in Topeka, which is always a plus because there are some places I go to they're not very well supported by the by the people that live there. Well, that's a great thing to hear, and of course the the caliber of artists that are here, you have to be pretty good to get in the show. Well, the only ones that I will do are the fine art shows that are jurored, so you, there's a lot of competition to get into those shows. Uh, you have to submit photos or you know digital images, and then there is a panel that will look at those and score them, and then they've only let you know the people with the highest scores get into those shows. And so it, it, there is a lot of competition. Well, Greg, we're going to share your website with folks so people can find you there if they didn't get a chance to come to the uh, the art fair here on Washburn campus and and they find your schedule there. Yes, I do have a schedule. It's at bgpottery.com. That's bgpottery.com. Wonderful. Tall Grass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tall Grass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Hi, I'm Deb Beisel. And when I'm not filming around Kansas, I'm the historian in residence here at Historic Topeka Cemetery. Now, one of my favorite episodes, of course, was on the cemetery here. And you know what? If you miss seeing that, you can go back and watch it anytime. 
All those great episodes of Around Kansas are archived on our website. So if you'll go to agaminkansas.com, click on Around Kansas, and you'll find all your favorite spots. So if you happen to miss one, like this one on the cemetery, or if there's just one you want to watch over and over again or share with your friends, share with some of the people who might have been featured there, feel free to do that. And in the meantime, come out to Topeka and visit me in this lovely historic spot. I look forward to seeing you. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the Yellow Brick Road. Welcome back to Around Kansas. I'm sitting here at the Mulvane Art Fair with my good friend Barb Quainy. And Barb, the multi-talented Barb Quainy, who does uh, fiber art. And Barb, you've just got some beautiful stuff. So tell me what fiber artist means. Well, fiber artist says uh, some are knitters, some are quilters. Um, I've chosen to work in silks, cottons, and wools. Um, my processes are I, I like to dye, so I hand dye uh, fabrics using either silk dyes or um, natural dyes from plants, that, uh, native plants of Kansas. In uh, the wool, I, uh, I'm not a spinner, but I take uh, wool roving or unspun wool out and trap silk fibers or natural fibers in it and then agitate it into cloth with my hands to make felted products. So, so do you grow plants that you use? I do. So um, as an example, uh, these are smoke bush leaves from my garden and I uh, have dyed this uh, top using a rusty iron wrench and smoke leaves and uh, this is uh, eucalyptus leaves from, uh, from, I ordered those from California and then dye those with tulips and to get blue dyes. And so those are some of the natural dyes. And then uh, the silk dyes, I do a lot of ancient uh, art called shibori, which is kind of the precursor to tie dye, but it's folding and twisting and tying and stitching to come up with the different patterns that you can put on cloth. You just continually amaze me. Well, Barb, thanks so much for visiting with us. Guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Around Kansas. Soil is the life of a farm. And for 25 years, SureCrop Liquid Crop Nutrition has helped growers produce abundant quality crops while preserving and improving the soils they steward. SureCrop offers complete soil and plant analysis with cropping recommendations, delivery direct to your on-farm storage, and quality crop nutrition custom blended for your field. Choose SureCrop for the assurance of excellence for your soil. Call today or visit their website for more information. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Now another gardening tip with Annette Jackson. Well-designed container flower gardens bring beauty to your home, at your entry, on your patio, or placed in a special spot in your landscape. Let Jackson's help you select the correct plant combinations which will add the color and style you need and that will survive the summer to provide beauty till frost. Save 50% now at Jackson's annual bedding plant clearance sale. Veggies and pottery 25% off too. Come on out and save now. This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Association of Wheat Growers and the Kansas Wheat Commission. Together, we are Kansas Wheat. Welcome back to Around Kansas. We're still at the Mulvane Art Fair, the Mountain Plains Art Fair, with one of my favorite artists, Becky Drager. And Becky, we were just talking about your work, and you said it's been characterized as happy art. I think that's a great description. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, I do a lot of really bright colors, and so people just think that it's happy art. 
Well, you take a lot of very ordinary uh, places or, or scenes and turn it into something really special. So how does the subject speak to you? Um, right now I've been doing a show called Prairie Structures and before that I was doing Topeka series and so I really got involved in doing buildings of the local regional area and so I took this new show Prairie Structures and I went around Kansas and drove all the back routes and found all of these different um, structures that we see in our everyday life but we don't really necessarily pay that much attention to them and then I add these really bright colors to them and bring them to life and you say, wow, I see that every day. So, and it's all around Kansas. Well, and it's all about um, taking something really ordinary and causing people to see it in a different way and you surely do that. Exactly, and that's uh, what I do with color. I really, I think the color is what um, makes me stand apart from everybody else. And I also have a very graphic design style because my background is um, graphic design. So, and then, so I have a very printmaker kind of style. It's, it's just wonderful stuff. And so we were looking at this image of Cocker City, which is really spectacular. Now that image of Cocker City is really interesting because the great ball of twine is not in it. So why did you pick the street scene? Because I'm really interested in the building. Um, the buildings that are in our rural environment all around us and those buildings and, and it's interesting because a person that lives in Cocker City came today and a couple of those buildings are no longer there and so they've been torn down and so they're very interested in that painting because it's they it will never look like that again so anyway it's uh, so I'm very interested in the buildings well they're just spectacular and of course, we've got the cows over here. That's awesome. Yeah, all prairie structures, it's natural or man-made, is part of the show. And so the cows are a structure that you see every day out in the field. And so I, you know, do both, you know, man-made like the buildings, and then I do natural like the like the Rock City right. or the cows. And you're thinking. They're wonderful. And we're going to share your website with folks so they can find you. Thank you. www.dragerstudios.com. Becky, these are just spectacular, and what a great way to, to preserve and enjoy the Kansas landscape. They're just, they're just awesome. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Around Kansas. American innovation is being driven in places you might not expect by people like Brent Hayek, an Oklahoma family farmer who recently set a world land speed record in a Ford Super Duty pickup truck powered by renewable B20 biodiesel. Advanced performance is here, now. Putting America on the fast track to more jobs and energy independence. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Farming is a tough business. With Harvest Looming, make the decision to rent your combine from Machinery Link. MachineryLink provides late model John Deere and Case IH combines delivered to your field on time, guaranteed. MachineryLink handles the cost of repairs, maintenance, and the other hassles that go with owning a combine, allowing you to focus your time and money on more important things. Don't miss your opportunity to reap the rewards that other Kansas farmers are already experiencing. Call today. Around Kansas, brought to you by Santa Fe Trail Meats in Overbrook, or visit us online at sftmeats.com. Welcome back to the Mulvane Art Fair, and I'm here with Court Anderson. And Court's got some wonderful black and white photography displayed. And for all those people who don't think that photography counts as art, this is a display you really need to see because it's fantastic. And again, just like we were talking with some of the other folks, you take some really ordinary objects and present them in a whole new light. Yes, I uh, spent a lot of time traveling the back roads in Kansas, Mississippi, Oklahoma, and Texas. And I find a lot of things that people miss during their everyday travels to and from work. And I just tend to see things a little differently. So, when um, when did you start? I guess when did you make the transition from newspaper to <laughs> photojournalism or or photography as an art rather than than a journalistic endeavor? 
I shot for newspapers for about six or seven years and really kind of got burned out and got into desktop publishing when it was first starting. I spent a lot of time working with desktop publishing, computers. From there I went into digital photography and did a lot of consulting with photographers, but really not working on my own. I spent time working in photo labs. And in 2001, a friend invited me to drive out to Los Angeles with him, and we did Route 66. And I took um, a consumer-level point-and-shoot camera and got back into shooting photos again. So what are you looking for now? What kind of projects are you working on now? I'm going to be doing churches. Um, I just got a new printer that requires uh, it to be run every week, and I have a lot of photos of people that I've shot over the years. That's not something I sell at art shows, and I'm going to be working with a couple of venues in Wichita looking to do a show down there of uh, the people photographs I have. Wonderful. And you live in that area? I live in Belle Plaine. And um, maybe not necessarily known uh, around the world for its spectacular scenery. And that's one of the things I've learned from living in Kansas. I've learned to look at scenery in a whole different way, and now I love it. Well, I like going out in the Flint Hills. I want to go back and spend some more time in northwest Kansas. Uh, beautiful country. You just have to get off the highways and find the right places. Isn't that the truth? Get off the highways. That's our lesson for the day. Court, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of Around Kansas. Tallgrass Commodities offers producers bulk commodities at a reasonable price with reliable service throughout the whole Midwest. To find out more about Tallgrass Commodities, visit tallgrass.us or call 785-494-8484. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Car Waters has what you need for all seasons for around the farm and home. Working, hunting, growing, feeding, snow removal, even fun for the kids. And a service department with experienced techs to help keep your equipment in top running condition. Tarwaters has a huge selection and the best prices. Tarwater Farm and Home, family owned and operated since 1978. They have what you need. This segment is brought to you by the Kansas Association of Wheat Growers and the Kansas Wheat Commission. Together, we are Kansas Wheat. Back here at the Mulvane Art Fair, the Mountain Plains Art Fair, with one of my favorite people, Callie Crawman. Callie, your Kansas landscapes are just legendary. They are spectacular. And you capture the landscape, but then you you, you put something else into it. What is that something else you well, put in let's it? let's call it mojo or something. Mojo. Kansas mojo. But uh, I love painting the Kansas landscape, Deb. And, I don't think you can get me to stop. It's gorgeous, and the variety in the Kansas landscape, one would think that you might, you know, paint the same thing over and over and over, but it's never the same thing. No, because we have a lot of uh, different land formations, creeks, uh, lots of different kinds of trees. There's a, a little bit of everything here, and of course you can't forget our beautiful sunrises and sunsets. There's no place like Kansas. Well, you capture that sky with some spectacular um, manifestations and, and the different moods that the Kansas sky has. Yes, well, I'm kind of a moody gal, so <laughs> no, it's, it's, I want to pass that uh, same emotion that I see when I'm looking at a, a skyscape or something, you know, I want to pass that on to the viewer, the person that buys the painting, and so they can feel that same emotion I did when I saw that scene, so that's now, it. Callie's not only a very talented artist, but a very talented musician and songwriter. And let's talk for a minute about the project that you and Diane Gillenwater did together. Yes, the Kansas Song Project. Uh, we did that, gosh, it's upwards of 10 years now, but we've sold a ton of those CDs and, and we uh, were able to get musicians from all over the state of Kansas to uh, sing and perform on that CD and we still sell those things and, and I sold one today as a matter of fact. So. Uh, the Prairie Glimpses Kansas Song Project. It's fantastic. So you've taken the, uh, with the Prairie Glimpses, not only the Kansas scenery, but again, the mood of Kansas and put it into music and those wonderful Kansas stories. Right. Well, there's lots of mediums to work in and sometimes it's words and the pencil doing the work and sometimes it's the brush. 
So, Callie, what, what's left? What are you working on now? And, and what is there in the Kansas landscape that you haven't done that you want to tackle? Oh, golly, it's endless. You know, every time I go out, drive around the Flint Hills or even central Kansas, western Kansas, there's, it, it's never ending. There's always something. And so, you know, nature provides the, the uh, ideas for me, and I just have to capture it. Mother Nature never runs out of ideas, no, does she? No. Now, you um, do a lot of shows around the state, but you also have a website so people can find you there. Yes, it's CallieCrawlman.com. So, any art shows coming up? Actually, I'm going to be painting in Colorado soon, and uh, I also finished up a plein air paint out called Stems in, in uh, Leewood, so always something going on. Always something. Callie, wonderful work. Thanks so much. Thanks, Deb. Appreciate it. We'll be right back with more of Around Kansas. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. This is the fast track to more jobs and America's energy independence. Advanced performance is here now. Biodiesel, America's advanced biofuel. Around Kansas, brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Welcome to Around Kansas, and of course, one of my favorite parts of the Mulvane Art Fair, the Mountain Plains Art Fair, is the entertainment. And this year, Jed Zeppelin, and what a great, fun performance that was. And I'm here visiting with the members of Jed Zeppelin, um, all veterans of other bands and veterans of the uh, music industry for a long, long time, and I think all with other jobs too. But I'm going to start with Rodney, the banjo picker, because I can. So, Rodney, talk about how long you guys have been together as Jed Zeppelin. Uh, it's been about three years now. I appreciate you calling us veterans, too. You know, that's what we are. We're old guys. We all had day jobs, too. <laughs> old guys, that's right. Old guys making, making bluegrass or, or something like bluegrass. Bill, what would you call what you guys do? Well, I call it 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s, 70s pop. Uh, turned into bluegrass. I love it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, Phil, you got the upright bass. So obviously the tall guy got the upright bass. He's the only guy that can manage it. So how long have you been in the business? I mean, playing music? Yeah. Uh, since about 1980. Oh my gosh. Yeah, older than dirt. So upright bass, you know, was there nothing left for Pete's sake? <laughs> it, was the, it was the only opportunity I had to play music at the time, so I took it. Well, great job. Now, Joe, of course, plays with Past Tense, and then you and Jolene do a lot of stuff together. So how did you find time for these boys? Uh, well, this is kind of, this originally started out as a different band, and then it evolved into this band. It was originally with uh, Dara Durst, and then it kind of morphed into this band, and then Dara, um, she went off and had kids. And that sort of took up her life, and and so kind of left us left us together. <laughs> and I just don't know when to quit. That's my problem. <laughs> so who picked the name Jed Zeppelin? Oh, I think it was my idea mostly. Yeah. That would explain things. Yeah. 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 The banjo player picked the name. You don't ever want to let that happen. I was just going to say, when you let the banjo player pick a name, that's what you get. Well, guys, that was great fun, and you're going to do a lot of other events. So do you guys have a website or Facebook page? We have a Facebook page, Jed Zeppelin, spelled Z-E-P-L-I-N, and you can like us on there if you like.
closed captioning brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff. Progress. Powered by Kansas Farmers. Welcome to Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes. And churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.